Hey YouTubers, I'm gonna share with you guys how I highlighted my short black uh, type four, 4A hair, and how I also touched up my roots. As you can see, my hair is jet black, and some parts of it has actual black box dye from touching up my roots. So my work is cut out for me. For the first round of highlights, I used the frosting cap method. The products I used were, as you saw, the Kaleido Colors, uh, Blue Powder Lightener, and Volume 20 Developer. And here you see me threading my hair through the cap. Next, I'm applying the mixture of the developer and powder to my hair all over. And application is pretty quick because my hair is already threaded through the cap. So I utilized a microwavable heating cap just to help with the processing. And after about 30 minutes, I took a look at it to see how light it had gotten. Not as light as I wanted, but I felt like 30 to 35 minutes was long enough. So I rinsed it out and took a look at it. It was definitely not as light as I hoped it would get. And as you can see, after washing and conditioning, the highlights kind of disappeared into my sea of jet black hair. So now I'm gonna move on to my wash and go. These are my preferred wash and go products, the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner, the Talia Waheed Curly Curl Cream, and of course my handy dandy Eco Styler Gel. This is the one with olive oil. I always apply some type of oil to my scalp. This time around, I chose to use the Argan Oil um, for all hair types, um, but it changes. But for the most part, I use Argan Oil most of the time, but it could be any oil, honestly. I just like to base with an oil and uh, get it on my scalp real good. Then I apply the leave-in all over my hair and proceed to detangling with my Denman brush. I then section off my hair to apply the curly curl cream in the gel one section at a time. So my wash and goes are pretty simple. I add the product, I comb through it a few times with a three row comb, which clumps my curls together as you saw there. And then I rake my fingers through it just to separate the curls a little bit. I do a few finishing touches here. And then the next day after it dries, I look it over. So as you can see, the highlights are kind of red looking, brassy looking, and they're very sparse. Um, toward the top middle, you can see them a little more, but definitely not as bright or bold as I wanted. So I'm gonna have to do this again. I wait a few days for round two, and I start with touching up the gray hairs in my roots with a simple black box dye. As you can see, I pre-sectioned my hair with a ton of clips, but that actually made application faster. Once the roots are done, I move on to pre-sectioning my hair for the highlights. This time, I use the foil method instead of the cap because I wanted thicker, chunkier sections. I also went with a 30 volume developer instead of 20 so that it can lighten the hair more. And as you can see, it worked. The highlights are more noticeable but kind of brassy, so I'm going to tone. I mix the Wella T15 toner with Volume 20 developer and concentrate on the areas of hair that were highlighted. I then rinsed out the toner, washed and deep conditioned my hair and followed up with the Apple G Two Step Protein Treatment. Finally, I rolled my hair and took myself to bed. The next day, I removed the rollers and this is what the results look like. As you can see, the highlights are more bold and chunky just as I wanted, but I'm not quite satisfied. I wanted more depth in the color, so I added additional highlights. I waited three days and used the powder lightener with the Volume 30 developer, and I just picked out small sections of the already highlighted hair and went over those sections again to get some bright tones. After a final wash and deep condition, these are the final results. I am quite pleased with the highlights and lowlights that I achieved throughout my head. I expect my wash and goes to be quite fun this summer. Do you like these highlights? Leave me some comments and let me know what you think.